Oh, howdy all. Grab yourselves a beer. It is time for some Path of Exile discussion. Now, what I'm going to talk about is my current Atlas strategy now that I have fully awakened the Atlas. So, I've gone and I've earned all 32 of the Conqueror's Watchstones. And that's put me in a position where I've got maximum flexibility to run the Atlas as I choose. I can go with maximum, uh, maximum tiers everywhere, as I've done here. Or I can alternately uh, remove some of them strategically for various reasons. But what I'm doing currently is something that's a little bit of a trick that I've discovered. Firstly, you'll notice from the Awakening level that you're granted uh, both map mods are made harder by the second tier there, and also there are lots of additional map boss drops. However, these don't seem to scale very much, if at all, with the, uh, with the map mods. So you'll see that there's a 4% chance to get a Shaper Guardian map from the unique map boss in tier 14 plus maps. However, this is true whether that map is a, um, is a really difficult 8 mod tier 16 map or whether it's a trivial tier 14 with no mods at all. And so for that reason, I'm adapting a scour and go approach. You see here that I've taken a bunch of maps, uh, tier 15, it's only tier 15 by chance, and I've also picked out the maps that have multiple bosses mostly and reasonably smooth layouts. Uh, now what I'm doing is I'm just going to run these. Uh, yes, that is a white precinct map and I'm going to go through I'm going to zoom to the end to get those bonuses for killing the map boss and additionally I'm going to kill monsters on my way, but I'm not going to go out of my way to kill everything and I'm only going to deal with the biggest of the in-map events. Oh, bonus. I've got um, I've just had a spawn from El Hesman the Hunter, uh, which is a bonus because that's one step closer to getting Cyrus. I had a 6 exalt drop from my last Cyrus run, which was nice. I didn't run it myself, I paid someone else to do it because I'm not confident with the fight yet. And that drop was uh, awakened added lightning support. So I'm currently leveling that, even though I don't have any direct use for it. Uh, I'm leveling that and then I'll um, sell it when it's ready to level up. Okay, here's the boss. So I have, I've only done a third to a half of the map. And I haven't picked up much. I did hear a drop somewhere off screen. Oh, that's where it is. It's actually in the boss room. So at this point, I'm going to aggro the bosses. Precinct bosses is not trivial even with a really easy map like this. And the other thing I'm looking at, uh, there's... Okay, so I got the dig map drop. Um, that drop was because of the uh, chance to drop an additional map, I believe. I'm just going to confirm that. So I was in Precinct. There's Dig, there's Precinct. So that's an adjacent map. That's probably what happened. I'm not going to do anything further in this map, uh, except for one important thing. I'm going to spawn the Metamorph file and check whether I've got access to a liver or an eye. The reason I'm looking for though, or any premium rewards for that matter. Uh, I don't. I've got divination cards though, and in fact I'm happy enough with that that I'm going to uh, push for those divination cards. So I'm going to make myself a metamorph at this point. And just putting in enough to get us over the line, so that I do get an organ, even though that organ's not particularly going to be valuable. And wrought line of sight as always with these guys, because they hit like a freight train. Uh, it looks like I got scammed on the divination cards. Um, not scammed in the sense of dishonesty scam, but scam in the sense of just getting absolutely nothing of value. But I do feel that they're worth going for when they come up and they're free. And again, it's just another precinct map. Uh, it's as simple as this. I'm going to run this one. Only take advantage of the major in-map events, uh, not the minor stuff. So a, an abyss will get skipped, a legion will get done, uh, as will a blight. And I'm just trying to get myself oriented because precinct map, you always need to work in one diagonal direction. Uh, it looks like this one is a uh, top left that I need to work towards. This is a really wasteful strategy as far as maps go. As uh, people are undoubtedly aware, you know, scouring a map is usually means that you'll run out of maps quickly. 
However, there are just such high map sustain in this league that you can get away with it. Uh, this is a really unusual league economy as a result. Tier 16 maps are uh, the cheapest they've ever been, including in Harbinger. But at the same time, uh, you have tier 14 maps that are smooth layouts are going for a little bit more than usual. So City Square tier 14 is going for 20 chaos and actually is selling at 20 chaos. So there's our uh, adjacent map and the other reward that I got. So in terms of the rewards that dropped there, that Marble Amulet was the 4% chance to get an Atlas base type and that map that dropped was an adjacent map, I believe. Uh, we're in Precinct and yeah, we had a Grotto, so it's an adjacent map. Uh, so that's basically just a refund. Uh, we didn't get what we're looking for here but we didn't pay anything re meaningful either. So in we go again. This time we'll do a courthouse just for something a bit different. Um, I actually just realized I've got to do the metamorph there, but that doesn't matter. Those metamorphs are good. Uh, you can pretty much sell any eye at the current time of this video for anywhere from the uh, 9 to 13 chaos range, uh, even, even if the, mo the item that it drops is terrible. Again, we're just punching through this map, uh, scour and go. Cassia's here, I'm going to do Cassia. Uh, her things do seem to drop enough loot to, to warrant the time in my experience. I'm glad she reminds me what my Salem are every time. I wouldn't have remembered otherwise. I should add that these are a numbers game, this one might be a terrible blight, but overall I find they're worth doing. It's just frequent enough that you get a sort of 40 chaos-ish reward from them. And also the, the XP is okay too. Alright, so here we go, let's see what we got. Nothing there, divination cards can be okay. Uh, four stack decks, that's uh, usually probably 20 chaos once the league matures a bit more. And I'm still looting all of these. Eventually I'll probably cut out the bottom three. And we got fossils as well, so that was quite a good one. No no jackpot hits, but that's a solid 30-ish chaos in, in terms of rewards from that blight. So moral to this story is do the blights. Sometimes then, on top of that, you'll get um, you'll get more. That blight would have been better if this had been a juiced up map. Uh, however, that's just not my plan at the moment. I'm just doing really easy maps so that they can be done as fast as possible. So nothing dropped in this one, uh, and again, this is all a numbers game. You just keep going back to it. And this time, oh, hang on, I just realised I forgot to do the metamorph. So let's see what we get here. This is being a three boss encounter. Ah, uh, yes, we've got Catalyst and a Heart. Even though that's going to brick our chances of getting a better base, to, a better item type, uh, the fact that it's got Catalyst makes me want to actually push this one up a bit. Uh, was that life regen? Yeah, it's life regen's a pain in the ass. I'm going to skip that. Okay, so that's the combination we're going to go with. Ready to abuse line of sight as needed. It's fundamentally, I don't want to be hit once by this boss's uh, bigger attacks. The trash mobs are fine, but the boss's attacks I don't want to ever get hit by. Okay, there we go. Uh, three catalysts, all intrinsic, so that's low value. But anyways, uh, that's all the numbers game as well. 
and that is the strategy that I'm using at the moment. Uh, it seems to be pretty good at respawning Cyrus, which is really good, as well, uh, and as well as the Lesser Conquerors. And also will help you fill out your Awakening bonus. Once you hit Awakening bonus 8, and you want to get the Awakening bonus on every map, uh, doing this will certainly help you do that. Anyways, if you've got any comments or questions, fire away below. Otherwise, I'm going to leave it there, and I hope you have a good one.